What's up everybody? Well, I got another Steam Deck gameplay video for you guys today, and today we're gonna check out Resident Evil 5. Now it says it's not supported, but it's not like it's got any cheat or anything, so this is one of those ones where we're just gonna have to see if it runs or not. So, basically, we're gonna try to hook it up to the capture computer, we'll see if it even runs. Some games don't even run. They'll pop on for a second or just crash right to desktop upon launch. So, this might be one of those, it might not be. So, only one way to find out though, let's go get it hooked up to the capture computer real quick, and then we'll look at the settings real quick, and then get some camera recording gameplay and some screen recorded gameplay at the end. Though I'm not quite sure what this game's setting screen is going to really look like. Sometimes with these older kind of titles like this, you don't get a lot of options, but we'll see. Let's hop into the settings now. All right, before we hop into the game, let's quickly look at these settings. There's not very many, so it's not going to take us very long. I went up to 4X anti-aliasing, shadow detail high, texture high, so we just got this game maxed out. So there we go. That is all for the settings. Not very many, like I said, so Let's hop into the game and see how the Steam Deck handles this. Here we go at the beginning of the game here. So let's just, I guess, walk around with wherever we're supposed to go. Alright, so what did he say? Ah, that's how you get the map to come up, alright. So we're going the right direction, it seems. Man, those people are beating the absolute shit out of whatever's going on up there. Alright. Are we supposed to go down here, or are we supposed to go past all the people doing the questionable shit. We're probably supposed to go the other way, because I don't think she's following me. No, it does not seem so. Okay, so let's turn around and go the other way. Yep, she's going past them. Alright, well I guess I can go past them, hopefully, without them all killing me then. Hey, wait for me, lady. Well, I hear sirens now. Couldn't hear any of that before. Yeah, and it's really quiet now. Too quiet. All right, well, that's also a checkpoint, so that's good. And so far, we've been at pretty much close to 100 FPS, or 120 FPS the whole time, so that's pretty nice. And the thing only has a 60 hertz screen, so you're kind of just wasting FPS, or wasting power. I always just do that when I make these videos, just so we can see what it really does, you know? All right, I guess I don't have a melee, a melee weapon yet. Oh well, no big deal. But this is cool. If this can do this, at least the Asus Ally can probably do this game at 1080p at 120 as well. Which is probably why they made that screen the way they did for older games and indie games and emulators and all sorts of shit. And it's got a variable refresh rate too. So I'm going to be happy to have both of these the handhelds. It's going to be sweet. Anyway though, let's go in here and talk to this dude. He seems to be the guy to talk to. Good, you're both here. Come. You too. This way. All right, we're going in. Maybe because of the new government, the people around here are a little on edge. Yeah, you don't say. Some they were going fucking ape shit on whatever that freaking prior person yeah. in that we're sack back there at the beginning of the game. Americans. I have your weapons for you here. Alright, weapons. Grab your weapons. The operations already started. 
Okay. Nothing else in there to grab? No. Equip. There we go. Destination coordinates. Found squares up ahead. Go through there. Alpha team's waiting at the deal location. Good. What do you know about Uroboros? Mostly just rumors. Something about visions of a doomsday project. Doomsday sounds about right. <laughs> right? That's what always seems to happen in these games. It always seems like a doomsday experience. You must find a man named Irving. He is our only lead. And be careful of Oh, and the other best part about this is even with the frame rate unlocked, this is very, very quiet. It's not like super loud fan right now. Probably because the temperatures aren't going bananas. All right, let's go out here at least a little bit. Do a little walking around. What do we got over here? Read. All right, control types. All right, I guess she's doing her own thing over there. All right. So now we know how to do all that. What's this other thing? Ah, telling you about your life gauge and everything. All right, pretty self-explanatory. All right, let's move out. Remember, we're a team. Whatever happens, we stick together. Don't worry. I may not be as big as you, but I can still hold All right, though. Let's move on to some camera right about now. Well, all right, guys. Let's get a little camera gameplay here. Because we're probably going to have ourselves some zombies. Looks like some weird shit going on in this cabin. Okay then. Right. Huh, well how do you use it? I can get it out. There we go. Just wanna make sure how to use it before I, you know, get into a frickin' zombie fight and then lose all my ammo and then have no idea what I'm doing, right? Nah, that was just the wind. Do, do, do. All right, what do we got going on in here? I think he's okay, man. Something is telling me.
There we go. What the hell just happened? Some pretty fucking extreme shit, that's what. Okay, get some ammo. That about it for in here? I guess so. Alright, well I guess we're not getting out that way, are we? There has to be a way out of here. Must have been something I missed in here. I think we can get out here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Fuck yeah, we can. We should keep moving. They'll find us soon. You're not kidding, here they come. Yep, fuck that shit. We need to get to that house. We'll have a better chance of fighting them from here. Alright, fuck that shit. I knew for a fact I was just gonna waste my ammo. I learned that from the giant group of them from four. You can't take them all out. I think that's plenty of camera recorded gameplay. So, let's go wrap this video on up now. Well, all right, guys, that is a wrap for Resident Evil 5, and it worked great. Now, I would do it, will say one thing, don't try to use any Proton, because I usually use like the newest Proton GE for everything, unless it doesn't work, then I try other stuff. And that's what happened. This time it didn't work. It just gave me a black screen after like Capcom and Dolby. It was just black screen. So I was like, well, what the fuck? So I literally tried like everything I could try, and then I was literally making a video, uh, or a screen capture rather, showing you, hey, this game doesn't work, that sucks. Here's what I've tried so far. And then when I tried nothing to start with again, then it started downloading stuff again and installing DirectX. And I was like, okay, well, maybe now that it's doing that again, maybe it'll work. And lo and behold, it did. So I was like, all right, well, we'll just delete that recording and start in the settings screen. So just it again, don't run any compatibility. Otherwise, it'll give you black screens and shit. You have to just run it with no compatibility mode. That's how I got it to work. And it worked great too. Like pretty much 120 FPS almost the whole time. This will be a great, great game for the ally, <laughs> which is very soon, less than a week away. <laughs> like a day less than a week, but still less than a week. <laughs> Anyway, that is all I got for you guys for this particular video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys. And until the next video, peace out, guys.